Okay, welcome back to Seeker Strength and welcome back to Seeker Stan. We are here with the 2014 85 Kilo World Championships. Sajay Hayuk is on the screen, one of Korea's best lifters. We're back with our first weightlifting coaches react. Coaches commentary in literally years. <laughs> and the Russian Eagle Apti is on screen here and he is rearing up. I don't remember anything that happened in this. This is 2014-85 kilo class and thankfully I don't remember anything so it's actually going to be pretty novel. You're looking at the glory days of weightlifting here. I used to live for these warm-up lifts. Yeah. Just to see a non-competition lift from the athletes. They didn't really use Instagram, hardly any YouTube clips and you just live for these high technical lightweights. There's Benjamin. I think the other thing is back then any clips that were there, the video quality was always terrible. So terrible. So then you get TV quality training lifts or lighter lifts. It was always so good to see it. Yeah, sometimes you'd get TV media clips, like from the Chinese athletes or Eastern Europe or something like that. So you'd get a random lift or two. But obviously the this TV media didn't give a, a crap <laughs> to keep YouTube happy about any of the actual lifting they did. Archim Oakloff here, an absolute horse. Little baby faced here in this one. That is a team tracksuit that they just do not make anymore. Yeah, I don't know if it'd be great to be wearing those, to be honest, anymore. No. Very aesthetic looking. Very, and very pleasing to a good physique. Andrew Rebakoff here, or Rebaku. I think Rebakoff is the better translation. One of the best snatchers ever. He snatched 187 kilos as an 85, which actually at the time was one kilo below the world record of 188 in the 94 kilo class. So he is literally one of the best, best snatchers ever. It's insane. Benjamin, the French, the Frenchy. Benjamin Didier. And you know, say what you want about the French. Yeah. They always produce like elite level athletes in almost every sport. They do. If you look at most sports, most world championships, most world cups, they'll have athletes there. A lot of judo athletes from France. Mm. I was at the Worlds and Euros and all that stuff. Benjamin never really, really had it for weightlifting. Always in the A session, but never at the top. Always the bridesmaid, but never the bride for Benjamin. And him and all the other male French lifters at London bombed, unfortunately. Benjamin opening at 152. Great physique, though. Great physique. And that's, and that's French that's athletes matter. always are in really good shape. But is that is that really that's all that really matters? I think <laughs> looking know? good in the singlet. Yeah, like I, that's, whatever you say about Benjamin, his coach is absolutely yakked. Yeah, I think his coach might do a bit of hypertrophy. <laughs> do you think he does some length and partials or full ram? Oh, definitely length and partials. They are science based all the way. Yeah, they're guaranteed for the proof. Yeah, guaranteed to work. Length and partials were but a pip in the mind of a young sports scientist at this point I'd say if even if even Sajay Hayek is one of Korea's best lifters your mouse is mind of its own he is never really amazing at snatching always there thereabouts was in the 77s the 85s but his clean jerk was really where he shined or shone he attempted that 211 famously in Paris, attempted a 211. I think he cleaned Jack 211 in, in the Korean Nationals at one stage at the 77. Moved up to the 85s and filled out nicely. <sighs> and some of the greatest weight issues ever. They this are, is everything about this session is perfect. Yeah, and now I have those weight shoes. <laughs> they were easier to get now than they were nearly 10 years ago at that stage. Did you get yours from Russia? No, I got the Adi Stars from Russia. Okay. Are, the, the Ironwork, which ones do you love? 2008. 2008. So these these are Ironwork trees. I got those from eBay. Oh. eBay. That was a very nice snatch. No, his snatch technique was lovely. It was just the weights were never there. Like he'd be in the 77s and like snatching late 50s. A very inconsistent. He, at some point, I'm pretty sure he might have dislocated his shoulder or elbow snatching. Oh, okay. He might have done that at London, actually. Okay, yeah, he actually might have done that. It is upper body limb injury, like arm, so elbow, forearm, shoulder injuries really affect the snatch more than any other injury in sport, don't they? 
as in relative to the other sports like yeah like it really does people don't seem to come back from really bad particularly like elbow forearm wrist injuries sometimes they do yeah sometimes it affects you forever like uh, alexi lochev lovechev was the super heavy for russia clean jerk world record We've only seen him hit like 230 since. Mm. But then made like Am Young Chul. We had the very famous Lithuanian lifter who dislocated it. Am Young Chul came back temporarily. That wasn't why he kind of finished up. But yeah, it is. It's just a so heavy weight, you know. Yeah. Other sports just don't have the absolute magnitude of weight overhead. And I think as well, it's just so concentrated on those small joints. Do you know what though? If you think about fighters too, they just really deteriorate as well and don't kind of... yeah. Unless you're... Uh, what's the Cuban guy's name again? Yoel Romero. Oh, yeah. Okay, 157 for Benji. I feel like Yoel Romero could be in a nuclear blast and he'd survive it, though. Yeah, uh, there was that story on Rogan where he's saying that he broke his orbital bone and it was already healing up the next day or the tendons had like already started healing. So Benji, very strange technique all yes. around. A lot of ass and not much technique, to be honest. Not very stable overhead ever. Yeah, it's difficult when you're that far forward at the point of extension to make it look stable overhead as well. Yeah. You're constantly chasing, constantly fighting it. Here's Archim. Here's a 140 snatch that I can ingrained <laughs> into my brain. Wait till you see how nice this is. What used to really annoy me is sometimes they just cut away when they're about to do a lift. Tiny feet in them. Incredibly oh, wide. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Incredibly wide back. Yes. There's Pavel. Wait until you see Pavel snatch now. Big jump back. So Heisen Polaku from Podium Gold, another throwback. 165 in the B session on his snatch. And what did he clean and jerk if they'll show us? They're not showing us. Not no. for us to know. <laughs> not the lot, no. So this was like the newer Adidas singlet, the one you zip up in the back. Yeah. And everyone, because Adidas, oh, look at that. Oh, my Ooh. God. Oh. Look how aesthetic and skinny oh. and young he is. Look at how young he looks. Yeah. Not that he looks old now. No, 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 not at all. But it's like there's just less on his face now, or something. Or yeah. back here. But yeah, the Adidas used to always just the Adidas was you'd pull up yourself. Nike didn't even have a singlet back then. The Russian team had Nike singlets, and like no one else could get it. <laughs> then Nike left weightlifting because they're like, oh, hang on. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I see something bad coming. Uh oh. Benji, I would say look would great in any singlet. Yeah, Benjamin. I wonder if there's any French people watching. I hope so. A lot of French people don't like talking English, do they? No. The, to absolutely encompass and stigmatize that entire country. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. You Do you still have those shoes? I don't have... I still have... I gave a loan. Nearly all my shoes are on loan to people. People would start lifting and I'd give them away. I would never give away my shoes. I know. I give them away with the thought that, oh, you'll just borrow them for six months and then I'll get them back when you get your own shoes. But people, but, uh, you're too nice to people. Now I currently have five pairs of weightlifting shoes missing. That's the most French beard I've ever seen. Yes. They just steal your weightlifting shoes, taking advantage of you. Nice. Nice. This might be around Benji's, Benjamin's biggest snatch. Always with the attitude after a successful lift for Benjamin. <laughs> Somehow mad at someone. The cupping marks on the shoulders. This is definitely, and I know people are going to say, oh, they've done cupping for hundreds of years. Mm -hmm. But cupping really gained popularity around five years later than this. Like 2018, 2019. Yep. It, uh, just people cover, coming out covered in those cupping hickeys. I have never found any benefit from cupping. No. It feels cool, though. Yeah. It does feel cool. So some people would argue that the... Um the bruising left is the capillaries breaking or something and, and the scar tissue or well I don't think they call it scar tissue anymore I think the the current phrase in the literature is adhesion points but there seems to be some good evidence that they actually exist which was a thing they were arguing about a lot even back then oh, oh yeah. my god 161 for Pavel in the worst waiting shoe known to man you also had those shoes I did have those shoes I actually got those shoes do you know when you could do the Reebok ID or whatever it was called where you mm -hmm. get to pick your own colours um, obviously, I only had them because Klockov was wearing them in some YouTube videos. That's so nice. Yeah. And 61. It has to be said as well, if we're talking about throwbacks, those rehab knee sleeves were Ray everywhere. Ray-Ban, sorry. Rehab. 
Ray-Ban knee sleeves. They were the only knee sleeves that existed. Do you know, back then, if he had knee wraps under those, he could get DQ'd. Or at least it'd make you take them off. So if you couldn't double wrap. So there was limits to how long the material could be, how thick the material could be, how wide your belt could be, how long your belt could be, how thick your belt could be, and all this stuff. And here's the Uzbek lifter. Uh, great lifter. Al, uh, Ali Moff, Ola Gubek. He King. is built like a scrum half, isn't he? He is. Like Faf the clerk or something. But he's got... He's got the head of an accountant, a bureaucrat. Yeah, yeah. Got the head of a bureaucrat. It's the perfect hair. Yes, you'd vote for that hair. Oh yeah, one sixty three, great lifter. Really shines in the clean and jerk. I think he might have tested positive. You know, if you showed me the start lift, I'd say most of them have tested positive. It's par for the course, really. Par isn't it? for the course. Horses for courses. It's like talking about F one drivers saying they've crashed at some point. Nice. Fast. Not so solid. Not super finesse. No. But a, a very nice clean and jerk or snatch. You could classify that as very power. Yeah, very power. Pavel's technique has actually gotten worse since this competition, which is interesting. He jumps back a lot more recently. It's funny that kind of migration of technique into being more and more uh kind of off center mm -hmm. or less ideal as people's careers go on if they have a staggered stance it gets more and more staggered if they have an elbow bend it gets more and more bent as they get older yeah especially as international athletes you're just gonna make it happen yeah put the numbers up as you said the three m's of of international sport med more medals matter medals more matter medals matter most or yeah my one is medals 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 <laughs> Medals, medals, money. Nobody's technique gets better when you get heavier. No. Tantau is a great example of this. It's not that it is guaranteed to get worse or it'll get a lot worse. Like it only might get a little bit worse. But most people's, no one's really improves as you get heavier at, the, at least. So Tantau snatching, probably at his peak here, technically. Didn't miss as much back then. Was it the same on the jerks? Did he miss less jerks? I don't remember. Yeah. I remember those Anta shoes that had shine on them were the ultimate find. I don't even... Could you even buy them back then? There was a few of them floating around. I assume... Oh, oh yeah. God. Holy shit. Oh, yes. That was ridiculous. Such a strange physique. Yeah. Such an upright upper back. It's incredible. It's so flat. Yeah. But then he's got that bussy on the, on the middle back. Yeah. Those lower traps and erectors. His Jesus. upper back posture is just so, so good. That is something else. Yeah. No one else has ever snatched 165 like that before or since. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's as good as 165 can get. You can't make it any better. No. You only go laterally. Sajay of mm, South Korea. Sajay Hyuk. Famously was kicked off the international team for punching one of the other teammates on a night out. No way. Yep. And as you learned, a lot of uh, respect is a big part of Korean culture and the, uh, just the social norms that you have to adhere to. But also, most places don't let you punch other people. So Yeah, that's if you were working in a normal company, you'd certainly be fired for that. But on a few brewskis, like... Bit of a Jeremy Clarkson. Oh... <laughs> No, he wasn't a racist. He if he just, clerked this lift, it would be even more Clarkson. I don't think he makes this. I'm going to see. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <clears throat> He'd be red lighted for that in 2022. You know, I was literally just thinking that. Yeah. That kind of elbow thing drives me mental. Like, everybody looking at that is like, oh, that was a successful snatch. He put it from the ground to overhead in one uninterrupted, accelerated movement. Everybody's so jacked and thick. Yeah. We'll never really know the full extent of what's going on with testing back then. We'll just never really know. I'd say it was a little... No, that's okay. No, I'd say it was... <laughs> the gear bag's full of cash. Pavel Kadashsevich, 166. Very sensible jump. Very serious coaches. Those coaches look stressed. Yeah, you've flown the tree out to Kazakhstan. You better be stressed. Let's go, Pavel. Everyone's around Ray Band. They were probably doing knee you could get 10 years ago. Ray, Reebok had, no, Rock Tape had knee sleeves. Rock Tape did, yeah. 
Oh, get up. Very nice. That was My good God. Yeah, his technique is deteriorated. This is so good here. Yeah. And he didn't move up much in a weight class, when I remember. Does he make a lot more hip contact now? No, he loops around his knees a lot more and oh. jumps really far back. These are so good, though. Pavo. Yeah, like you can see there's a bit of elbow movement there. But why anyone would get red lighted? Red paddle. Yeah. I wouldn't white out anyone if I was judging a book. No. You wouldn't white paddle anyone? Wouldn't white paddle anyone. <laughs> Just like, no, red lights, red paddle. Red lights all around, please. That was a really good snatch. Yeah. Definitely a third attempt, though, a final. You're not making more than that. Yeah, I wonder what he'll go for his third. Ulug Beck out for 168. I could see Ulug riding at me on the back of a... He's wearing a belt under his singlet. No, I don't think he is. He is? No. I think he is, Gareth. I think it's just the way the t-shirt's tucked in. No, that's not a belt. No, it's too malleable. But I could see him riding the back of a stout pony shooting arrows at me across the step. <laughs> you can't tell me he's not related to Genghis Khan. Apparently we all are. There's like one in five men or something? Yeah. This, the really super close-up angle of the face does nothing for me. No? No. I like to see the super close up of the face when they lift. <laughs> so I don't get to see the lift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's oh, really nice. Very oh power. God. Very power. I'd point like that. Yeah. That's the only one so far, is it? Nah, it's so good. Isn't the quality of lifting significantly better here? Yeah. On average, like the average number of good quality lifts. But also it's a more entertaining sport here. Because there's more lads lifting yeah. better weights. Yeah, just a couple of hot guys lifting weights. Yeah, big jacked guys. Oh, they're the rock tape knee sleeves. They were the 50% of the other knee sleeve market. I'd say they were 5% of the total market. Well, 50% of the suppliers. Yes. Yes, talk that t-shirt then, coach. Oh, 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 oh. I think that might be Acti's dad, actually. Oh, really? I think that's him. Oh, he gave his son his jacket. Uh, oh, Aleko came out with knee sleeves as well. Oh, man. I remember Aleko, Aleko came out with their belt. With the little abs through the singlet. Yeah. He could be a he could be a model. I'd say he could be a good judoko as well. Yeah, maybe. They usually have big hips up on him. <laughs> for rotating like and stable base, you know. You don't need skinny little hips like that. No, he could be a, a speedo modeler, maybe. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's a learned thing from just watching a lot of Russian weightlifting. But it's something about that Russian team gear mm -hmm. just makes you think they're gonna be a good lifter. And also because Russians are usually pretty good lifters. Yeah. Apti really peaked in 2013 Europeans. Oh my God. So we had him 2012 London Olympics. Split jerking was inconsistent. Came back 2013 Europeans. Did 174 to 15. Demolished him. I mean six for six. Absolutely the crowning achievement of his career in terms of performance. And everyone was like, came out squat jerking. Everyone was like, what the fuck? <laughs> and then, I need to squat jerk now too. Everyone was like, he is going to clean and jerk the world record at the Worlds in Poland later that year. And he came back and attempted 219. So tweeting was a record and just kind of caught it low. Apparently he'd hurt his wrist in the lead up. It's a problem. Made of thing. You just have to take it when it's there. Mm. You can't hope it'll be there unless you're alien alien. Or Lasha. It's also the problem with trying to peak for competition in weightlifting. Yeah. 169 for Pavel's third. Last one was very good, but on the ropes. Oh, oh he's made it. Nailed it. That's this is an incredible example of efficiency in a lift. Like getting under super fast. Like this is what makes weightlifting a great sport. This is what makes it the most impressive sport. The athleticism, the speed, mobility, timing. Sheer power. Like, how many other sports take their attributes to the max like that? Or so many yeah. attributes to the maximum. The psychology of that, the speed, coordination, athleticism, power. It's very like Ultimate Frisbee in that way, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it sure it sure is. Oh my God, the size of that back. Oklahoma always had just big yeah. shoulders. He was the... Death Star Delts before Derek ever came on the scene. 
Tiny feet though is always very noticeable. <laughs> very small feet. They look tiny, don't they? They do look very tiny. How does he not fall over? Shoes always look better and smaller faller features. Yes. Like I look on any of my son's shoes, no matter what they are, they just look way better. They just look way cuter. Oh, that's actually an Adidas singlet with the Nike thing stuck on. Is it? Or oh, s- yes. Yeah. They did do that. So Nike were sponsoring them at the time. Again, before Nike pulled out a weightlifting. <laughs> do you need three coaches? There used to be a lot of complaining about that at comps. Be so the many amount staff. of people in the back room. Yeah, I think it's two now you can only have. I don't think you're supposed to have three. I don't know how tight they are. Ooh. Oh. 170. Talking about sneaking under a weight. Always sneaking under those weights. He snatched 180 when he was 17 as an 85. What? Every what age is he here? 19 or 20? Early 20s, I suppose. 180 at 17. Yeah, there's a video of it. It's crazy. Crazy. They're just generally, sh- genuinely shocking weights. Yeah, I remember he squatted 290 and I was like, holy fuck. Fuck you, Arch. I'm smarter than you now. <laughs> <laughs> now, I remember seeing there was a video from 290. There was a 220 rack jerk from Arch came out and it was just like... <laughs> Okay, Tanto 170. This is going to be sick. Yeah. Team China. Let's go. Let's go, Team China. They made the Chinese knee sleeves. Hook grip then sourced those. Nat. Nat Aram. The knee warmers. 170. Let's go. Oh, oh my yeah. God. What a guy. Oh, my God. His back is so flat, but then his bussy is so big. I think it's the bussy coming in. Bussy really bothers some people, you know. Makes that, uh, it just makes it look wrong. But it's perfect. The bussy is the perfect <laughs> word for that. Like. That's what it is. That's what it's called. Yeah, in weightlifting, at least, it's a bussy. Yeah, that's what it's called around here. Oh, my God, that's so good. Some of the training hall videos of this are some of the best ever. Was this where clock off the 200 pause snatch, 2014? Mm. Or was that 2015? No, that was America, I'd say. No, Glockoff no. did an A200 though in the training yeah. all of this, I'd swear. He did a 200, then he did 200 hang a year later, and then he did the pause 200, wasn't it? Yeah, what a dirty, steroid-infested junkie oh user. It makes me sick. <laughs> 170 next for Oleg Beck. A big-time player making big-time moves. What's crazy is back then, in the 85, until you got to the 170s, like your snatch was nothing. Yes. Nothing. Lou yeah, Zhaojun yeah. was down in 77s, doing 175, 176. And uh, until you got into 170s, you were going nowhere. Imagine the pressure of having to walk onto a platform just after Tan Tao has destroyed the weight. Yeah, but you know your ancestors are behind you shooting arrows at him. Oh. <sighs> shooting arrows in his back. That's the problem with that hip smash. Yeah. You know, with the big swing. Big swing. Swing. Bada bada swing. That's, he is in some shape. If at any point you use a compass to describe the arching of your bear, that's a semicircle out from the hips. Yeah. Yeah. Just so hard to get it back, mind you. So hard to get it right. If you think about why that larger arc is harder to land under is because it's more imprecise for you to jump back behind it. So if that arch in the third pull gets longer or wider or bigger circle, it ends up farther back, so it's finish point. So you have to jump back underneath it. And obviously, you get more imprecise because you're covering more distance under and backwards. So you're traveling in two planes. And uh, that just doesn't... That's, you all sat in math class and thought, why would I ever need vectors? Yeah, why would but I when need? you're analyzing weightlifting technique and you say, oh, because there's a hor- horizontal component to that vector. Yeah. yeah, Makes it a lot more difficult. Makes a lot more sense now, doesn't it? No. <laughs> doesn't it make sense? So we are, uh, everyone with their towels. Everyone with their high tucked in tracksuit pants. One of, did we talk about Andre already? Yeah, we one did. One of the greatest snatchers ever. This one's 60. I don't remember this. This is going to be hot. Everyone watch this. Everyone get ready. Look back to the screen yeah. now if you're eating food. <laughs> oh, oh my God. God. Yes. Oh my God. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Potty, if you're watching this, I hope you enjoyed that. Oh, I'd love to see the... Oh, Rustami's in this! I oh forgot! Oh, my God. And the volts. Span new. The power belly has not even begun to develop here. No, he's in the 85s. Never, he is. Never super jacked. Uh, pretty lean at 77, but no power belly. Or no power moustache. It's there. I can see it coming. <laughs> it could be there if it wanted to there. 
Now you're about to see some hip smash. Oh my god. 173. Get your protractors out. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh, there's uh Hosen Rezaza Daddy. Oh my god. Hosen Rezaza Daddy. One of the best super heavies ever. I really believe he could have Oakley and Dirk Lash if they were in the same era. Really? Mm-hmm. If he had someone push him? Yeah. Oh. Yes. A lot of imbalance in that shoulder there. You, yeah, it did actually Sign get of worse. things to come. Like you were saying, it did get worse. Yeah. Kianush. Rastami. I'm correct in saying that at this point, your body weight from what you weighed in at would have an effect if you were drawing didn't it? Yes, it was, yeah. Because you see some of them, their body weight is registered far below 85 kilos. Fun story about Rostami was at the London Olympics, or one of the worlds. Gabriel says he warmed up with straps on the snatch, but took like massive jumps, like went 70, 120, 150, and then came out and like missed 170. Oh my god. <laughs> I I wonder why. That's like someone going to test a 40-yard dash and not warming up and tearing their hamstring. Who would do that? <laughs> 173 for Apti. Oh, fucking hell. He, like, that pull looked significantly slower than his first. Yeah, he, he's definitely... There's something going on here the year after. After the Worlds, he just wasn't quite... He doesn't look comfortable. No, no. I'd say I'm sure he had back injuries. And see the hip? Yeah. His le- right hip is way yeah. lower as well. These people just don't want to admit that imbalances can cause an issue, you know? Or that weightlifting is terrible for you. Like, there's nothing wrong with trying to correct an imbalance, you know? It's people who look at you blue in the face, but never account for the literal hundreds of thousands of anecdotes when someone corrects an imbalance and reduces pain or eliminates it, you know? Or, oh, the abs through the singlet are... Wait till you see Ivan Markov moving. Aggressive here. 174. The thing with those imbalances as well is just take this class as an example. Look at people who have severe imbalances and then look at their history of injury afterwards. And people love to be like, look at all the elite athletes with imbalances. And you're like, yeah, every elite athlete is in pain. Yeah. <laughs> What's your point? What is your point? Oh, oh my God. Yeah, people just get caught in a, an idea. Yeah. And they're like, I have to. This, no matter what, I'm going to prove everything. Yeah. But can you just be like, oh, let's see the context and try and think about it. You know, it doesn't matter too much. 74. Oh my oh. God. His back squat is lovely. He Look. looks tall as well, doesn't he? I think his long arms make him look tall, but Dara, okay. I'd say he could be 5'2". Like, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, I don't... I used to think they were tall until I went to one or two internationals and I was like, oh, hang on a minute, I'm pretty tall here. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Arch him up. 174. Get them traps in. Let's go, nice baby. Of, nice bit of visualization in this pre-performance routine there. Big boy, 174. Stretch marks for days. Yeah. Loved benching. Really? Yeah, there's definitely videos of like benching, like 180 or 190 at least. Oof. Oh, 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 oh. Everyone's so precise, aren't they? Yeah. Is this the pinnacle of weightlifting? 85 kilo category, is, is that it? Was 94 See, the pinnacle? I think people always look at the glory days of not less drug testing, but where people could use a lot more recovery agents. Mm-hmm. And they think, oh, people are going to be more jacked back then. They're going to be more powerful and have worse technique. But in fact, the biggest difference you notice is the precision of the technique because they get to do so many more lifts at 90% or above. Mm-hmm. Like they just constantly get to max out. Yes. Or near enough max out as not matters. Mm. Okay. The best snatchers ever walking up to the barbell. Bit of kyphosis there, isn't there? Yeah. Jesus, that oh bussy. My God. Here's a bussy. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> oh. Fucking Reddit bussy is going crazy. <laughs> so we've got 175 first attempt. Now, if you don't know much about Andrew Ribaku or Ribakov, you might not know that he's a terrible clean and jerker relative to his snatching. Here's a junior worlds where he snatched 182 for like a junior world record and a world record and then clean jerked uh, his first opener was like 187 or something which he then snatched at a different competition a few years later oh oh, oh. 
Is that 175? 175. Did not. Ooh. Did not go up. I bet he's got lower back pain. Not because uh, Don't we all, Griff? Come not on. the way his back is built, just because <laughs> from weightlifting. That stance is so narrow. The thing as well is back then, they didn't have a load of recovery peptides to fix injuries. Like everyone yes. was so sore. Yeah, the idea of recovery peptides was just more snag now. And I don't think like injury rehab was really a thing, to be honest, in a lot of these countries. Yeah. Wasn't that advanced. Tian Tao just absolutely in as a zone. He's like 18 years old here, is he? He looks like a baby. Yeah. Mm, such a baby. Yeah, with great snatch technique. Always great here oh, with the Chinese A bit of a shoulder there from the oh. coach. From the Belarusian coach. Yeah. Coaches are always at it in the back room. Yeah, just the, the cold shoulder, you know. Mm. Cold shoulder at closing time. Oh, oh my God. Do you remember that video earlier from London where he gives like um, Alexander Ivanov a nuggie? No. Uh, uh, like, <laughs> Elias is after destroying the snatches <laughs> at London. It's halftime, 10 minute break. Elias like running around the place like an Energizer bunny. Andre's just after snatching 185 as well, but I think Elias won because he was lighter and just like gives him a little nuggie and it's just like, <laughs> hey! Then he calls like the president of Kazakhstan or his wife or something halfway through the snatches and then goes back to clean and jerks and it's the 233. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, yeah. And 75. Convincing. What a crop of lifters we've got here. Yeah. It's really crazy, isn't it? My God, yeah. Like, if one of these lifters was competing now, they'd be the talk of that session. People would watch that session just because they were lifting. Like, if Tian Tao is in a, a session anywhere at any competition, mm -hmm. everybody will watch that session. No one really knew who was going to win this, is the thing, you see. No one, there yes. was no, like, you know what we knew was, like, Miso or Giga Chad was probably going to win the mm -hmm. one or twos recently, or... Like Lash was winning the supers. Like this session was kind of anyone's to play for, you know. But uh here he is, the man himself. The most stressed coach in history. 175 for Tian Tao. Tian, I'm too fast, Tao. Let's go. Everyone's running the clock down. Sprum with static starts. Wasting time. Oh, fuck. How annoying must that have been to miss that when it looks so good? Yeah. That must be, he's definitely annoyed. Oh, sugar. <laughs> Somebody's just tearing up a bonus check. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, he knows that, too. Let's see from the side angle. It's a great angle here, actually. Just a little bit too early to hips, slightly back. Yeah. Loop the barbell around, missed it behind. Apti's coming up for 175. Nice sensible jumps there, 169, 173, 175. Yeah. That's like they're, your they're winner jumps. That's like your first wave thing comp jump. Yeah. And to be honest, all the jumps you should always take ever, to be honest. Except you have to take the one away from the start. Mm -hmm. It's just 65, 73, 75. If you're lucky. <laughs> a lot of people nowadays want to wait for their first competition. Yeah, you definitely should not do that. I want to wait till I'm better. No. I'll just go do it. Do it before you know what weightlifting is. Mm -hmm. uh, I did my first comp after four weeks of weightlifting. I had been doing the weightlifting movements for a long time as mm -hmm. S&C work. Okay. But like when I started actually weightlifting, it's very similar, only a few months. I think I had like a summer worth of training and then yeah. did the cork open in September, October. Three months is probably about right. Yeah. Obviously, I did terrible. I sure look. End up power snatching everything. Don't we all? As we do, as we tend to do. Or well, Sammy's such a gem because I'd really forgotten he was in this class. One seventy six for a second attempt. I'm gonna say a miss on this girl. I think there's gonna be a miss on this too. I think so. Hosen looking healthy. <laughs> look at that mustache. Yeah. Oh my God. No November there. No fat November. This actually might have been in November. I don't think that was a Movember moustache, though. That's a Lifetime Career moustache. Yeah, that was a Lifetime Career Award for Greatest Moustache. Come on up, Iranian coach number two. There we go. Oh. Yeah, you doubted him. I was I was, first. <laughs> I was like, he's going to make this. <laughs> yeah, you, you were so positive about it. Yeah, and I look at you looking like an idiot. Oh, my God. Heck, heck yeah. A noticeable lack of bussy there. Wowza. 
Yeah. Yeah, not much. I, to be honest, Rostami seems like a lazy lifter and I don't think he does his assistance work. Yes. Oh, look at the hip shift coming up. Look at that shoulder imbalance. See his hips? Yeah. Big shift coming up. Interesting. Yeah. Like me personally as a coach, I would wait for that to explode before addressing it. I just keep pushing them harder and harder with heavier weights until they thought it was their fault. Yeah, and then I'd be like, why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell me your knees were sore after six months? Yeah. Okay, Ivan Markov, 177. He's opener 174 was too easy, so he, I, I think he's going to demolish this. Gurf, he's easily six inches taller than everybody else there. At five foot four. <laughs> Actually, you know what? He might be under five foot Ivan Ivanov. I'm pretty sure Ivan Ivanov is like under five foot. Really? Yeah, he's under great Bulgarians. Look at that jaw. Look at that neck. Mm. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Those white Eddie Powers. Yeah. Are yeah. something. If you're not mass, you know what? Even if you're massively obese. You still get plus two aesthetic athletic points. Yeah, you just look so athletic when you're wearing them. Why didn't I he slap love his ass? those shoes. What? Why didn't he slap his ass there? <laughs> he slapped his back. Like He's not going to make his third attempt without an ass slap there now. Uh, I love those shoes and trained so much them so much that I cracked through both heels. The heels? Yeah. Okay. Very stampy, Aren't you, you, as you'd remember. Good. Yeah. Stamp. Expo 2017. Future of energy was six years ago. Burn more oil. There we go. <laughs> no gas instead of oil. <laughs> no, we're going to mix gas and oil. <laughs> like a diesel and kerosene heater, but it's oil and gas. It's going to be real dangerous. High pressure. Big flame. I feel like at this point, the cameraman or the people running this are like, we need more close-up angles. Nice bicep veins. Give me close-up of his nostril. Oh, that was never happening. No. Do you do that fake under? Yeah. I'm going to get under. <laughs> well, I know it all too well. Go on, I'll get under this one. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Very sensible jumps again. Obviously, the Russians are just, as always, incredibly sensible. Didn't get it back far enough sporting. passing the knee there like mm. you normally would. Ugh. That's a lack of patience. Yeah. Okay, Rebaku is like, fuck, I need to make my next lift. Or wait, I need to make a lift. We made one. We made 75, yes. So we've Rostami, Markov, and Rebaku. I'm pretty sure that should be Rebakov. The Korean lifter didn't take a third attempt. I wonder, is there an injury? An owie. An owie. Rostami. Strange build on Rostami too, isn't there? Yeah, very strange. Very short torso. Yeah. I don't think he, I don't see him complaining about lifting, though. Definitely not. <laughs> My torso is really Incredibly short. Incredibly short arms. <laughs> He'd be lucky to reach his pockets. No, you don't understand. My torso is really short. <laughs> ah, fuck off. 178. Kind of nippy in there, isn't it? Hmm. Hot guy. Young Stalin. One seventy eight. This Rastemi. really is the the business end. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh my god, the Baojin Pass. That used to be on all the World Championships entry and out. If anyone remembers what that is, I'd be pretty interested. It's something. It's the best Over of luck. the doorway. There is it. Yeah. I did not expect that. No. Look at the hip shift, Daniel. Yeah. Not as bad on that rep now. Jeez, you don't like to see a hip shift on extension. God, no. Little boxing wrap, wrist wraps. Nike boxing wrap. and Different else. one on each side. For different levels of pain. You were a serious man in your day for one wrist wrap, weren't you? Yeah, a lot of wrist bowler, to be honest. <laughs> wrist owies. They benefit a lot from just not wearing wrist wraps after a while, to be honest. Yeah. Get that thickness. <laughs> Get that density. Let's go, Andre. 179 for his third attempt. 
84.57. That's what I love about some of these camps. Well, they used to tell you their body weight on the uh, mm. the scorecard under their lifting. 179. Non-stop madness here. It's 2014-85 kilo. World Championships. It's an absolute shootout, isn't it? It's an absolute nuclear war. Oh, that was never happening, was it? That actually did just look a bit too heavy. Yeah. I don't think there's anything technically wrong there. Yeah, I don't think so. Great V-taper, though. <laughs> yeah. Just a bit yeah. heavy. It's 179 kilos, to be fair to him. Ivan Ivanov whispering magic. I can see Ivan Ivanov being a bus driver. Yes. Is it Ivan or Ivan? Ivan Ivanov. I don't know. Some set of forearms on him. That coach is ready to rumble. <laughs> the guy in the red t-shirt. Yeah, he is ready to go. <laughs> Anyone tries to touch Ivan. Yeah. Don't touch him. That's the kind of coach you want beside you. Absolutely, yeah. Either at a weightlifting camp or outside a pub when things are kicking off. Or he's in Vade Romania or something. Yeah. Ivan Amarkov, 179. Big boy weights. Talk about a legacy of success behind him. Imagine when he was coming up as a junior and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like with sprinters, it's like, when are you going to pull your hamstring? With wafers, it's like, when are you going to test positive back then? <laughs> oh, oh, there it is. The bar speed on that is yeah. something else. Yeah. Holy moly macaroni. Yeah. So, so good. Holy rabbit ravioli. I'm just going to say it as well. The little over sleeve, short sleeve singlet is lovely. If you're not fat. Yes. Well, he has visible abs through his singlet. What a lift. All right, let's see some clean and jerks. He missed his opener at 196. And then this is a successful second attempt at the same weight. Look at that jerk. Yeah. There's none better than sweet tea, isn't there? Iced tea. Yeah. Big jump back. Yeah. Yeah. Big fan of that yourself, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Airing her dirty laundry here in this competition. Oh, my God. Wu Lin and Bao Jun Pat. Oh, this kind of lift. I'm talking about these 190s, these warm-up lifts. Mm. Casual. And misses a jerk now, probably. <laughs> He's missed every jerk after one party. <laughs> oh, that's super convincing. No. I'd have been more convinced if he just caught that and dropped it and didn't stand up. Yeah, no, I didn't want to waste energy. <laughs> oh, so the Korean lifter didn't do his third snatch attempt. Uh, he's a, he's not a snatcher guy. He's a clean and jerker guy. <laughs> Great clean and jerker as well from Olegbeg. I feel like this is the days of 210 kilo push presses every week in trading. For everybody. <laughs> yeah, no. 100 megs of snazz all a day. That French coach is massive. Yeah, he's just there to intimidate other coaches and lifters. <laughs> he, he takes the drugs first just to make sure they're okay. Yeah, no, we ran out though. <laughs> no, that devolve is definitely real. Afghanistan lifters used to always be testing for D-ball because you look at the sanction list on the old IWF website and obviously it goes by country during the year and then organising by country and Afghanistan was always at the top and there'd just be like <laughs> four or five <laughs> lifters test spots for D-ball. Never international competitions really. Don't know what was going on. Yeah. YOLO I suppose. Sad J. Wait till you see Saz clean. Really? He wasn't so much a clean and jerk specialist as a clean specialist. Okay. I'm excited to see this. Really great. Everything great about a great clean. Let's go. Big 200. 85. Oh. Yeah, hold on, hook rip. No big smash. Fast under. Oh, lovely. Oh, it's very unstable in the split jerk all the time. Bit of an elbow flutter. I wonder 
how the process of going from being a 77, you know, clean and jerking in the 200s is a big day, you know, like yeah. 205 is a huge clean and jerk in the 77s, like attempting 211 to moving up to 85s, knowing that you'll have to surpass that yeah. in competition. And you'll have to be doing those weights weekly. Yeah. It's near comp. It's a big psychological change as well. Benjamin here with 200 as well. Very green bumpers, isn't it? Yeah, they've definitely changed that shade of green. That coach can just jog out there and power clean that. No bother. No buds. The reverse curl. Two hundred. Old Benjamin. Benji. Little Le Miserables. Les Miserables? What was that? What was that? Les Miserables. Le Miserables. Mustache. Oh. Nice clean on him. Yeah. I'll be a big fan of it now myself. <laughs> Oh. I figured out he has the physique of those 1920s strongmen. <laughs> he does. Yeah. Yeah. John. Massive upper body. John Hackenschmidt. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Zercher Schmidt. <laughs> Joey Hackenberg. Or whatever their names are. Like, 45% of the mass he has in his body is between. Underneath his chin and above his belly button. <laughs> That's not where it's supposed to be for weightlifters. Yeah, that high center of mass is what you want. No. Ola Gubek with his opener. Uzbekistan. 200 kilos. I wonder what he's doing now. What's he doing these days? I bet he has a job in the Uzbek National Federation. You know? Yeah, some kind Remember of... that skyscraper we trained in? Yeah, that was the National Federation. Yeah, I bet he has an office there. There must have been other things in that building. There had to have been. But the massive plaque I'd say a load of empty offices. <laughs> yeah. So mad. So power. Mm. I think the jerks are great too, to be honest. Oh! Little, uh, little oscillation. Oh! oh yeah! <laughs> 200s. He's in that 210 push press group. 100%. You can't tell me he hasn't push pressed 200 kilos. No. You can't tell me. <laughs> I won't believe you. Oh, he's a bit of a limp. Benjamin, knowing he's not going to make any jerks. He it's knows. <laughs> he knows he's just fooling people like he's wasting everyone's time. Yeah, he's doing a Heidi Peeps with the, with the clean and jerk. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, that is something else. The power in that is crazy. It's crazy because the dip and drive isn't great. Ah, oh, well, it's just power. Yeah. Very power. Big Benji. Let's go, Big Ben. Big Boo, Didier. Hennequin. The French's name. If he'd put Jean Claude in there, we'd be 100% French. <laughs> Wait, was Jean Claude Van Damme was a Belgian. Was he Belgian? I'm not sure. Be Belgium? Belgian. Okay, Benji. <laughs> it's a very French face. Oh. Come on. Yay. Oh. That's a weird overhead position. He That head tilt off to the side is so strange as well, isn't it? He had it on all his snatches. It's just because he wants to kiss you. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> Five million. He wants to have an affair with you. Voulez-vous coucher avec moi? Yeah, I was never a big fan of Benji's lifting, to be honest. Yeah. It's not the most aesthetic. I could see you loving it, though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just love... Joe, when there's a bit of fight in the lads, like, you know? Like, he knows that's not right, but he doesn't care. Didn't care. No. Okay, Pavel's out for his third attempt to Hundy. Pavel tuck in that belt. The old kinesiology tape. KT tape. No placebo tape. <laughs> the the absolutely does fuck all tape. But it actually does something, just not what people think it does. Yeah. Oh, red lights in 23, but he should get away with that now. No, he'll surely get away with that. Surely be to. Come on, lads. Come on, give it to him. He deserves that. He, Of course he deserves it. If you can move 200 at that speed, you should get yeah. that. 
Three white yeah, lights. There That's we go. We were, we were talking since yeah. 2014. Those lads looked down at an Umbro gear bag full of cash underneath their desk. Reminiscent when they could clean jerk 200 kilos. Oh, yeah. The knee valgus when he's standing up is so strange, isn't it? Yeah. That will just never look right to me. Doesn't matter, though. No. Yeah, full red lights in 2023, 2022. At the Olympics now, it'll be all reds. That's a disgrace. Good job, Pavel. What to be 169 or something in 200? Here he is. Tian, heart attack toe. The Bombador. Got a bit of a moulet going on, isn't there? Yeah. A little moulet. This is mullet glory days, though. Should I have a mullet? Yes. A little white box mullet. That coach always looks tired. You can see these sick of coaching athletes. <laughs> Stressful. Big international camps. 205. Let's go. Oh. Oh, nearly power cleaned it. Oh, nice little pre oscillation there. A little double dipper. Yeah. Easy first attempt. Lovely. I'm pretty sure he takes a massive jumps now after this. <laughs> Rightly so. 205, 225. Get a score on the board. Yeah. And, and that's what it's all about. Go for wins. Yeah. If it's not gold, it's not nothing. Snatch for a show, clean and jerk for dough. This little double dip is lovely. This should, You should still be allowed to do that. He wasn't allowed to do that. <laughs> <laughs> and he still does that. <laughs> and he still gets away from it. Gets away with it. Archer Mokinoff, 205. He has to struggle getting through doors. I hope they've made doors wide enough for him. <laughs> My God, that's some pull under. Wait till you see the jerk. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> His clean was always kind of weird. I hop forward a lot. But uh, the jerk was always... Like something else the other good jerkers in this class are push pressing 200 kilos whereas he's strict pressing 180 <laughs> hey, like man. that's a level of elbow extension he's benching it the world's not ready for my god such a good jerk oh my god that's overhead position is outrageous yeah Apley's out with his first attempt 205 kilos 84.55 kilo body weight I wonder what the expo in 2017 was like. I'd say it didn't happen there. <laughs> I'd say it was all a big ploy. It was all just a shell corporation for the money to go to. Yeah. All the doping money. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Everything just looks a bit laboured, doesn't it? Yeah. He's left elbow so much lower than his right. It's always kind of like that, yeah. It's a lot of contact. Like, it's very... Yeah. He looks almost tired. Oh, I'd say he's tired there. You try weightlifting. <laughs> <laughs> you see how tired you are. Clean Jack in 205 is an 85 kilo man. Yeah, it's absurd. Of course he's tired. Yeah. <laughs> He's been doing that for the last four years as well. Yeah, when he was six, his dad was like, right, time to start weightlifting. Oh, my God. Big Sa, let's go, Big Sa. I don't believe, I believe Sa. He didn't punch anyone. Probably deserves it anyway. See the people walking through there in, like, the fancy dress? Some guys, maybe, local dress or custom Mary. No, the he's abs. definitely a 1920s strongman. Look at the abs, should have singled it. Yeah. He, there shouldn't be plates on the side. It should be those big round steel balls on the side of the barbell. Yeah. The and it would look perfect. Like the Steinberg barbell thing. Yeah. Yeah, he does a one-arm snatch lift. Yeah. <laughs> Two-arm snatch lift. Lunge catch. Yeah, there's actually, he's actually competing in six different lifts. <laughs> the Hackenschmidt squat. 207 for Ivan. 
Ivan Markov. Say he's going to absolutely demolish this. Like, we haven't even hit any clean and jerks that are meaningful oh yet, you know? God. Yeah. Until you get into the 210s. After 212, it doesn't mean shit. <sighs> pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. There we go. Got long arms for that jerk. Yeah. Quite a wide grip, though. Yes. It looks right. It doesn't look wrong. No. 207, first attempt. Telling us nothing really here. He's keeping the cards close to his chest, you know. We don't know what he's going to do. He's got a little bit of a little oscillation there. A well, little, the, the bar can be oscillating. A little. Oh, look, big, big jump, seven kilo. Nailed his first attempt at 200, so I feel like he's going to nail this one as well. Yeah. You couldn't get over how good the lock it was in 200. See, so push pressing 200. <laughs> Just scuffs on the platform. The uh, remember listening to the the CEO of Alico talking about. So they only want I think it's like two and a half bounces once the barrel hits the competition platform. Two and a half. Yeah. So like dun dun dun. Hmm. Yes. <sighs> so good. The clean is strange, but he's got so much length and power. Yeah. Great pull under in the clean as well. He looks uncomfortable as well. Of course he's uncomfortable. He just cleaned her 207. <laughs> Jeez, weightlifting as a sport is just terrible for you, isn't it? Yeah, it's not great for you. At these kind of weights, at this level. Do you know when you see that table and it's like number of injuries per hour of sport and like waiting things at the bottom and you're yeah. like I, did you, where did this come from no one can ever show the study that came from that's uh, not well, true it is true because to be fair in weightlifting there's very few acute injuries yeah it's such a misleading title like the yeah. acute injuries but if you're talking about being in pain you're just in pain all the time all the time imagine if like you didn't lift weights and just did jiu-jitsu imagine oh how good you feel oh my god like there's no, there's not many sudden event injuries in weightlifting. Fair, granted, you'll yeah. give the imaginary table that, but the in pain, chronic, repetitive strain injuries that everyone has <laughs> at every level all the time is very high. And the emotional strife. <laughs> Why did I miss that lift? Yeah, I've never missed that before. Is this a thing now? Am I going to miss this again? Is this just the way I am now? Two. Like eighty two point three kilos. Yeah, I'm moving up from seventy sevens. Oh yeah. Very, very light. Big boy lift here at 210. When is the last time you weighed 82 kilos? <laughs> That's it. Just show his face, thanks. Oh, oh, what happened there? Uh oh, Jeremy Clarkson. <laughs> uh, on a serious note, I think the last time I weighed eighty-two kilos, my age would have been a single digit. A single digit? Yeah. Oh, you were a fat boy as a teenager, weren't it's you? A big boy, yeah. A little fatty, yeah, little tubby teenager. I would say from the age of ten, I was probably over eighty kilos. Jesus Christ. That's I disgusting. don't know. You never weigh yourself as a child, really. That's disgusting. <laughs> that's mank. Man. That's rotten. You're a little freak, weren't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Do you have any pictures of that? Oh, you're disgusting. That's sick. Do you get kind of sick in your mouth when you see the pictures? Or is there no photos? No. I suppose your mother didn't take any photos. It was kind of nasty. No, I was the last child. Like, nobody cares. Yeah, all the all the fun stuff has been done. Yeah. Well, Dara's walking, you see. Okay, great. Oh, that's great. Yeah. He's still here, is he? Oh, he's very fat, isn't he? <laughs> Who's been Never feeding? the food has gone. <laughs> Who's this Dara's hand like this in the worktop? You cannot keep a packet of biscuits in the house. <laughs> what made you so fat? Oh, he's only really fat for like three years, I'd say. Yeah. Four years, maybe. <laughs> six years. That's where Titsy Fitsy came from. <laughs> Four to six years. <laughs> Why were you so fat? Were you storing up weight? I think it was just at the point where 
you know, just before you get that big growth spurt. Nah, I didn't have that personally. You did. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Maybe if you'd been fatter I'm than a 12 and 13 no. year old, you would have. Uh, yeah, I'm waiting for that one. <laughs> Still waiting. I grew an inch and a half when I was in first year in college. You know that? Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad. Oh, aren't you great? No, that's great. Yeah, can you squat 300 kilos? Though? Fat bastard. Ah. Storing up that fat. Storing up for another growth part now, are we? Oh. oh. That's harsh. Ross Dammy up with his first attempt. 10 seconds. Ross Dammy, don't do this. It's 211. Big bread in. Up into the lats. Let's go. Mm. That dropping the chin as he stands up has stayed with him, hasn't it? It really has, yeah. Oh, 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 he's made it. The classic Rastami rotation. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. You can't. You didn't have that in control, Rastami. You fuck off. But he had to drop it because it wasn't in control. See, it's so funny. As before that bar hit the ground, he turned around and started pointing at them. Yeah. A classic. That's not a disgrace, like... So, like, you only have to control it for a very short amount of time. Like, the bar just has to become motionless. Yeah. And you demonstrate control. Ah, Gurf, that bar wasn't even in second gear. Like, I would have given it to them. I would have been that centre judge, gave him away. So, I'm like, yeah. As soon as I see 211. Where? Where? Where is that? There. What? There. Th- no, it's not. There. There. Come on now. Hash. I love the, the three coaches in the corner. <laughs> yeah. Tantau, 211 as well. Six kilo jump. Absolutely chuffed at Rastami. The, the, the Rastami rotary. Yeah. The Rastami they actually rotary. had magnets on one side of the platform. <laughs> <laughs> the Rastami rotary chicken. It's definitely a bit of a moulet, but not too much of a mullet. It's tasteful. Classic. I think you should go for a mullet, Gerf. I might go for a mullet. It's coming back around. No, it's already back in, is the thing. My late to the fashion trend is the problem. Wouldn't be like you. Wouldn't be like me. 211. Let's go, Tantau. Double oh. dipping. Not tobacco, the it's the jerk dip. Double dipper. Remember, Mythbusters <sighs> did like a double dip thing. Yeah. And like, how unscientific was that? I don't even know. But yes. everybody knows that double dipping is for psychopaths. It's wrong, like. Yeah. They said it was okay, but it's No, they wrong. didn't. No. I think the conclusion was... I watch that. Mythbusters every pause day. Pause that a second. <laughs> no, I thought they'd uh, come to the conclusion that it was wrong. No, I don't think so. Like they were measuring no, the bacteria. Sorry. They put on sorry. the agar plates. What they did was, the myth was that it's the same as... So it's a line in some movie that it's the same as dipping your whole face in the thing at Salsa. Oh, yeah. Mythbusters, so, real scientific. 211 for Archiman- <laughs> Oak Love. <laughs> it's Archiman- Archiman- Who's Archiman- Oh, yeah. Boom. Oh. oh. Yes. yes. Yes, boy. Yes. So happy. Oh, my God. So what were they saying? So basically, the myth was that double dipping is the same as dipping your whole mouth back in the jar of salsa. Okay, okay. But they did see that double dipping is wrong and for psychopaths and children only. But they they found through their microbiology and on their agar plates that it was fine wasn't that it well Owen it was it was a Discovery Channel kids show <laughs> yeah teaching kids bad science is it so oh my that's God. why where we are where we are now today because all those kids grew up watching it actually yeah. as you know because we always watch Adam Savage here that there's a load of like NASA engineers and stuff now who only became scientists because yeah. of Mythbusters like four of them <laughs> 211 for Ivan Markov's second attempt Very distinctive features on him, isn't there? Yeah. He could be a vampire. He's easily a foot taller than everybody else in that class. I don't nice. care what you say. 211. That's a lovely jerk. Oh, I'd say he must be the tallest, yeah. The When I was coaching at comps, I always found that the cleaning jerks, the pressure was kind of off. I used to always hate the snatches when I was coaching people. No way. Yeah. Wait, when you were lifting or coaching? No, or? when I was coaching. Yeah, they didn't bomb like... Yeah. There's just always so much more 
to go wrong. It's fun coaching people in camp. Yeah. Very blasé clean and jerk, isn't it? That looked like he was cleaning that just to put it back in the rack. Like he didn't really care about that clean. Jeez, that's some jerk. Some jerk. Great lockout. So, so good. Benjamin out for 211. They're just changing the plates over to steel roundy things. <laughs> yeah, big bulbous balls of stainless steel. Hammer strength. Where are they gone? Hammer strength. They're still there, I swear. Are they, st- they used to be equipping every single big gym in the world. They're still at it, I would swear. And Puma. Puma are back in. Yeah. They're back around sponsoring yeah. CrossFitters and stuff. Puma Big Time Fitness. Puma, you're a bit late to the sponsoring CrossFitters thing. <laughs> You've missed the boat on that one. 211, third attempt for Benjamin. Let's go, Benji. Come on. Oh. <laughs> Screaming in French. Oh my God, that looked painful. That definitely hurt. <laughs> Benjamin, you're never. <laughs> you're <laughs> you're never. For the <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, Didier. I don't think that was happening, to be honest. No. YOLO attempt, but makes sense. Like if you're He gave it his all as well. Like what's fine taking your third attempt just to kind of Yeah. You know, you might as well take a YOLO attempt at Worlds like that in the A session. <laughs> you never know what could happen. Never know. You might You could get electrocuted on the way up. <laughs> Ross Sammy coming up for two twelve, second attempt. Full eye contact with each judge. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's Go Rostamio. Just gives the crotch a little tuck. Me and Rostamio down by the schoolio. Let's go Rostami. Shiny new ROM 2 volts. <clears throat> oh. oh. What? <laughs> he gives out to the judges again. Red lights again. Oh my god. He used all his anger. So mad at everyone right now. Jeez, I'd love if he just went 215 and made it. The thing is, he could. Yeah. I really don't remember who wins this now. Who's winning the snatch? Markov. Yeah. Surely Markov wins it. I'd say there's no talking to Rastami. No. There's no telling him. Wasn't he not training with the national team? Yeah, I think that's why he, he kind of had to retire. Yeah. Kick that bad boy out. No bad boys <clears> in this <throat> team. He is the bad boy look as well, doesn't he? Yeah. Kind, no, like a fake bad boy. <laughs> like a, like a rude boy. <laughs> <laughs> Sa up again. Clarkson's last attempt. Jeremy Clarkson, this two twelve. <clears throat> Come on, Jeremy. Let's go, sir. KGNT. I wonder what that is. Kazakhstan government national testosterone. Oh, oh no, sir. Ah, oh. <sighs> it's always the look at the hands, isn't it? Fuck <sighs> yeah. Yeah, but it's never the hands, Dara. It's never the hands. It's never the hands. But, you know, sometimes it's really painful, though, when it is the hands. Yes. This is the least callous my hands have been in years. Like the little soft baby hands, just a yeah. YouTuber now. Just, <laughs> just a YouTube squatter. Come on, still, Rastami. Still broke my wrist squatting, though. Hey. <laughs> okay, we've got a couple of attempts left. So we've six attempts, five attempts left. Ah, uh, nice amount six. of red lights on the board as well. Six attempts. Archim. Oh, this is going to be sick, whatever this 120 is. Imagine you missed this 120. Power clean and power jerk. Confused I'm calling it right now. Close grip muscle snatch. Oh, no. 50% rounds over. <laughs> Split jerk. Let's go. <laughs> oh, oh, we'll never know. We'll never know. They're never going to know. I was only half wrong. 213 for Apti's second attempt. Apti looks like... Is it the Lemony Snicket book, A Series of Unfortunate Events? Yes. He looks like the villain in that, with the really pointy beard. Oh, yes. Jim Carrey played that in the movie. Mm. More footwork, more passion, more footwork, more passion, more footwork, more footwork. 
Let's go. 213. Oh. What's going on there? It's heavy there. It is heavy. It's 213. That's, to be fair. He weighs 84 kilos. And he has to spend his life terrorizing two orphan children. <laughs> <laughs> Oddly specific reference. It's from Lemony Snicket. No, I get it. His grip is so narrow. Yeah. To be honest, that's mm. just... That's never there. The thing is, you could come back and clean that, but the chances of jerky dinner are yeah. so low. Like, you know, you could YOLO clean that. Yeah. <laughs> just send it. Got the little belt of boner. You know, I haven't seen it for a while. That Canadian guy who downs a bottle of beer and then goes and drives a snowmobile over things. You know, he's like, still gone off fuck and send it, bro. I think there's probably a good reason you haven't seen <laughs> any more of him. He was all over the algorithm for a while. You remember that fella? I'm pretty sure this was like, Definitely, pe- maybe peak Facebook, but he downed, he'd like Pepsi Crystal from the 80s. This was only a couple of years ago. Pepsi Crystal? No. And he downs it one. He just downs, he used to do the absinthe and stuff. Oh yeah, I remember that. And he just downs like Pepsi. And he just pukes everywhere a few seconds later. It's like a 30 year old bottle that's never been opened. He used to do like litres of Goldschlager as well. Let's go. Big, powerful clean. Yup, Shibayo. Nice. Yes. That's a great like, jerk. That's a made jerk every day of the week. Mm-hmm. And they've ruined it now by saying that's not a jerk. Such a good Look jerk. Look how happy that coach is. Well done. Ah, that's that's a great performance. Pretty sure he tested positive. Oh, God, Everyone tested that. positive, like. Do you know, I think, you know, if you like, like you say, if you meet an asshole... You meet one and you're like, okay. Mm. But then everyone you meet is the asshole. Maybe the testers need to look at themselves and realise that they're the problem. Yeah. You know, test yourself, testers. Yeah. But everybody can't fail the test. You should be tested on a bell curve. And if you have, if you're in like two standard deviations from the mean of metabolites in your system, you should be, okay, you took too much. Yeah. But if you're an average amount of drug taking, you should be grand. If everyone you test is failing... And you're not on drugs as a tester. You're the problem. Yeah. It's your fault. 213. Come on. Yeah, you shouldn't. Just because you like doing something, you should make everyone else conform to that, you know? Mustache is angry. (laughs) (laughs) Take a shit. 213 for third attempt. Those are some shiny volts. Come on. Let's go. Always at the hip shift as well. Yes. Oh my god. Thank Oh my god. Don't hold it. That's in control now. Even you'll say it's not. There we go. There we go. Big time players. Oh, oh no. Oh, he's sad. Oh, Rastami. That's class. Well done. You won the Olympics two years later, so be happy. Won Rio. Wasn't it Rio? Yeah, you did, yeah. yeah. You just have to win one Olympics as a weightlifter, and you just can like you are allowed to win that. Stay on that forever. Like, to be honest, as an Irish athlete, you just have to go to the Olympics, and you're on it forever. Like, and that's perfectly fair. You've done an amazing thing. We're like, oh, Lou didn't get his fourth goals. Like, God, one gold, you know, one, one medal, gold. one medal in weightlifting. We got Apti coming out of his third attempt. Clark the last lift. I'm not confident here, Garf. I just don't think people Clark within seven, five kilos of world records. You know what's interesting here? It's works and it. are up on the massive screen behind as a sponsor. Mm. Yet it's illegal gear. Yeah, don't ask questions, right? <laughs> don't be pointing out logical fallacies. Oh, oh that's definitely a back away. Oh, he's a hurting. Yeah. Yeah, he's sore. Poor Apti. That's so shit after comps like that. Yeah. It's just, especially when this is your job as well. Yes. It's just like, oh, it's over now. Yeah. That's the crazy thing about weightlifting. Just or sports in general. Yeah. I feel though in other sports you do get a bit more of a an honest swing of the bat, you know. Mm. But I can rub you there when Ireland lost, you know. It's just like. Yeah, it's one game. It's gone. Yeah. It's over. For four years. Uh, yeah, and to be honest, like with the amount of that team that are retiring and moving on and stuff. Mm. Okay, Ivan's out for his last attempt, 214 kilos. And by all accounts, he's going to nail this going by his previous attempts. He's got some big boy backers and the coaches. 
the guy in the red shirt looks like he's calmed down a bit. <laughs> Went and had a chat with himself. Yeah, no, we have this in the bag. Calm down, Alan. Come on. Look at himself in the mirror. Oh! Oh! oh uh, rearward roll, backwards roll. Was that his third? That was his third. He had that in the bag. <sighs> 211 was very handy. Sugar mm. shit. Oh, nuts. At this point now, he's just praying somebody gets popped. And it's him. <laughs> he got popped. Not at this competition, but he definitely got popped. God almighty. Some back position. Such an athletic silhouette. Yeah, it is. That's a great point. 214. Okay, so we still got Tanto, Archimokloff, Rostami's done, Ivan's done, Apti's done. Sad uh, Oh, he Turn. leaves this slap behind. No ass slap. Leaves this coach hanging. He surely nails this. 218. Seven kilo jump. This is for a, this is equal to the world record or is for a world record? I can't remember. I think this might equal the world record. Come on now. Which is a strange lift. 218. Let's go. What a bar to be loading. Oh my god. Oh my god. Go on. Come on. Yes. You know you have it. This is peak action. Oh, oh my god. man. Frick. Imagine Gable can <sighs> jerk two twenty five in training. At yeah, 80s. it's absolutely absurd. Eighty seven or eighty eight, he said. What the fuck? He did two seventeen in Rio, didn't he? Yeah. Did he what? <sighs> so it's still tan to come out. Geez, that clean was great. Yeah, so fast. If you'd asked me at this point, I would say 99% sure he's going to make it. Yeah, given how good he's jerks are. Yeah. Like he's done that for push press triples. <laughs> 218. I wonder if he'd done that in training or not. He would note the Russians, you see. Mm. Okay, tan to coming out for 219. All to play for. 205 was his first successful attempt. Missed 211. Was like, put 219 on. At back then, you might have said YOLO. Yeah. Was, I don't think YOLO existed then. No, I think it did. No, I think you got to live more than once. No, 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 no. You, you only live once. Ah, YOLO surely wasn't there. Yeah, was it, sure. Was it? Yeah, I think YOLO was when we were in university, so. Oh, yeah, it was. I think it was. Yeah, it was. 219. I'm sure he cleans this. Yes. Oh, holy. Yes. Come on now. Split jerk it. Come on. You've actually more <laughs> chance split jerking this than squat jerking it right now. Little baby quads in him. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. What? Oh my god. Jeepers creepers. <clears throat> that was close. And Rastami wins. The That's a big hug, isn't it? From a big boy. <laughs> Jesus Tanto. Oh my god. What? Lads, what a class. Stacked. This is what weightlifting is. Not anymore. Oh my god, he's in such good shape there. Great shape. He's very skinny compared to the other lads. Or like in terms yeah. of like he's not skinny, but he's not as thick as the other boys. I thought when he made the adjustment here in the catch, he shifts mm. to one side. I was like, oh, he's probably secured this. Got the bag like secured. See the there. Bag. Nah, I think once it moved a little bit to one side, mm. it was probably mm. how are you going to stabilize 219 overhead? The yeah. clean, though, was incredible. Who was cleaning world records like that? Just you have to have that bit of a jump forward for the squat jerk. Yeah, but it makes it so imprecise then. Yeah. The polo shirt. With the popped collars. That's what you used to wear on the nights out, wasn't it? You definitely wore that kind of polo shirt. Come on. With past collars. Yeah, absolutely. I wish I did. No. I, I wish I did. I bet we could go back to your Facebook and find <laughs> photos of you doing that. So Rastami wins. Almanoff Almaf second. Akilov third. Akilov third. Ivan Markov kind of threw it away, didn't he? Mm, Win, yeah. 179 snatch. That's the thing with big jumps in the clean and jerk. Mm. You know, you see the Russians there with their kind of four kilo jumps or 
I know uh, Akilov did a seven kilo jump for his last one, I think, which he missed. Those those smaller jumps do pay off. Sorry, I was distracted by the incredibly tall women in the background. <laughs> I think they're on stilts. They might just be normal height women. Yeah. Standing next to the weightlifters. Crazy stuff. Yeah. Great session. Great session. Hope you enjoyed that, lads. Check out the Seek Strength app at iOS and Android if you want to get better at weightlifting. Dynamic loading adjustment, coach bot, all of that good stuff. And, of course, Facebook support and our live stream every week so you're not left on your own. For any questions or technical feedback, check it out. Seek a strength app on iOS and Android. Hope you enjoyed today's session. And happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. <laughs>